Don't ever get me alive! Hi. My name is Mark Calabrese, and this is The Shift. Not like shift gears not when you're driving, I mean more like shift, like uh, Chris Ramsey's video thing where he does magic tricks and sunglasses and a beard. Um, yeah, so that's that. What's up, family? Welcome back to another edition of The Shift. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Chris Ramsey, and let's get right into it. Before we start off with the deal, let's announce the winner of last week's contest. And the winner is... Mateo Ferro. Mateo, congratulations. Hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies, and we'll send that out to you as soon as we can. This week we are looking at two products once again. We're going to take a look at Selenium Shift by Christopher C. Severson, Chris Severson, and also The Mind Pod by Joaquin Kotkin. So first up, let's check out the trailer performance of Mind Pod, and we'll talk about the trick after this. I invented the slimmest iPod in the world. The name is Mind Pod. I made a black one and a white one, and it's very slim, you know, it only holds some songs and are only the titles written on the back of each mind pod. I want you to find a song. First of all, shuffle, shuffle the mind pods. Shuffle them, shuffle them. And look for a song that you like, that you really know. Turn it around. Mm -hmm. Look for one song. And when you have it, put the, that mind pod aside, face down. Do it now. So look for a song that you really know. You know the words, you know, you know, the melody, everything, the tune. Great. So in order I can hear it, I want you to look for it in this set of mind pods. Mm -hmm. They're in shuffle and there are more songs, so look for them. Look for it now. Look for the song, look for it, and when you find it, put it aside face down. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So there's no way I can know that song. Mm -hmm. You agree? It's only in your mind. So I want you to take your mind pod and on the camera three, you're gonna uh, put play on the mm -hmm. center button mm -hmm. and inside your head, I want you to start uh, singing that song, but inside your head, don't say it out loud, okay? Right. On the camera three, okay? One, two. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I love that song. <laughs> this is mind pot. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I think the most entertaining part of that trailer was the fact that that guy had a half beard and no one seemed to notice. So that was the trailer and the performance of mind pod. Basically what you get is a DVD, but in this DVD you also get this neat little pack of little iPods. So you got two different colors here and the idea is that the spectator has one and you have the other. They choose any song whatsoever and without any funny business you tell them what the song is and not only that they've included a way to actually play the song on your own iPhone or iPod right after they've chosen it. So that's a pretty cool effect. The good thing about this is that you can put this in your pocket, this can fit in your jacket pocket, in your pants pocket, and you can walk around with this. So if you're doing a walk around gig, I say this is great. Not necessarily uh, good for stage, because it is pretty small, I don't think it plays that big, unless you can make these really huge. But I do like the fact that they incorporated the song afterwards as an extra reveal. My only gripe with this is why use the props? I mean, today's technology, we deal with uh, iPhones and iPod magic, all sorts of technological advancements. I would think that you would be able to do this without the use of these cards. So that's the only that's the only reason why 
I perhaps wouldn't perform it. I would rather borrow a phone and do the same type of effect. However, for those of you who do not like iPhone magic or this type of thing, I mean, this can be carried around in your pocket so you can pull it out whenever. So that was the Mind Pod by Joaquin Kotkin and Louis Dematos. Louis Matos Productions. Check it out. Next up, we have Selenium Shift by Chris Severson. So this is a hot item. Got flown off the shelves as soon as it hit them. So check out my performance and we'll talk about that after this. So that was my performance of the Selenium Shift. Now what I did on there was a variation of the Selenium Shift which Chris, Chris teaches, which is a cover pass. So included, sorry, included in this you get the Selenium Shift, the multiple shift, which is amazing. You can shift multiple cards up. You get the cover shift, an instant sandwich, a rising card, a one-handed shift, a pseudo center deal, a color change, a card vanish, as well as all this. Now this is for me, I really love when a move is this complete. When somebody puts the time and effort after years, I know Chris personally, and I know that he's put so much heart and soul into this work. Uh, if you, this was released before as a download through The Wire, I believe, but he retracted it because he felt that there was so much more that he can give to the community if he put it out on a DVD, and which he did. Now check out some of these quotes. The best car control I've ever seen, Justin Miller. If you think the control is fooling, wait until you see the applications. One of the most convincing controls out there by Patrick Kuhn. Daniel Madison raves about it. Shin Lim, Adam Wilbur. So this is honestly one of the controls that is gonna fool the crap out of your eye, whether you're doing it on video or in person. Now, there are angle issues, so you do have to be aware. Just like most slights, practice in front of a three-way mirror, practice in front of friends, see what the angles are but once you nail that and once you nail the practice it's a pretty fooling shift as if it wasn't enough to have a dvd full of fun stuff on it to learn you also get a book a pdf and on this book he includes a shift half pass instant card location triple card color change a snap change cleanup a two card production another color change so you're really getting your bang for your buck here so this is shin Lim presents product and I believe that this is probably one of the best slights out there now in terms of academic value. And the reason I say that is because not everybody's gonna be as comfortable as Chris when performing this. So the idea behind the shift I think is brilliant. I think it's fun. Normally a shift is done, I can't talk too much about it, but it's kind of the opposite of what you would do normally shifting a deck of cards. And so academically speaking, I think this is a great addition to the Magic community. I think it's good to know and it's good to play around with. Whether or not you can perform it, that's up to you and that's, that depends on how much time you're willing to invest on it. But definitely, definitely an interesting uh, product and great production as I must say as well. Shin Lim, he, he uh, outdoes himself normally on all of his products. So check this out, Selenium Shift by Chris Severson. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, short and sweet this week for the shift. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed those products and effects. Remember to win this week's prizes, which are pretty dope. Simply like this video and tell us in the comments what you thought of the products, what you, what you thought of the show, and we'll send that out to one lucky winner next week. Also, in passing, before I leave you guys, I'd like you to know that I put out a product as well. So I don't have a physical copy yet, and it's pretty exciting, I can't wait to get them. It's entitled Red Pill, and I'll leave the link below as well where you can check out a video of the performance and the trailer. And it's something that I filmed last year in California with the Murphys team. This was before I started working for Murphys Magic. And one year later, lo and behold, it comes out. You can tell by the length of my beard how long it's been. I'm like a, I'm like a tree, you know when you measure the rings of a tree? Except it's the hairs on the beard so anyways check that out red pill and let me know what you think about it i hope you like it i'm not obviously going to review my own product but if any of you want to give it a review i would be glad to tune in and uh and check it out 
So guys, thanks once again for tuning in to this episode of The Shift, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good weekend for what's left of it. Peace out.